So guys, in Fujier, so Oculus finally updated the Oculus Go, so we're gonna finally be able to stream everything we're seeing inside the Oculus Go to our phone directly without needing like to use ADB or using the Oculus streaming that was very very bad and we've seen already that in the video of the rear that they did a while ago. Uh, now everything is gonna be very natural, you're gonna be able just to pop in, turn on uh, your phone and start the streaming and show people what's inside VR and of course like being able to guide a little the people that are in VR because we know that sometimes it's just hard to explain yeah they press that thing over there so without further ado let's get to the Oculus Go and let's see how to do it together how to update it together and let's see if it works well or not and what are the limitations that we have so far so let's grab the Oculus Go right now and let's check it out together Okay, here we are with the Oculus Go. So all you need to have is actually the Oculus Go, your controller that in my case is the this controller because I lost the Oculus Go one and your phone. So first thing to do will be to update the Oculus Go and if it's not automatically arriving on your Oculus Go, what I suggest to do is to leave it on idle. And what does it mean? That you have to take out the this sensor over here that never works anyway and we can do it together i'm gonna show my phone in the screen you go on the oculus go or click on that you have to connect it because anyway you have to be paired with the oculus go with your phone to do the streaming and be on the same wi-fi connection you click on it and then you go on more settings you go on power setting you take out the auto wake up and you click on auto sleep and you click to never so it's not gonna just go to sleep if you don't want to at that point you just leave it there when it's charged or it's charging and for like 30 minutes pretty much something like that just click on top so the screen is off and uh, you don't use the screen it doesn't use so much battery and then after that or it will appear automatically or what I suggest to do is just to restart the Oculus Go so then it's gonna appear right away after that that's what happened directly to me but uh, let's get now to the streaming how to do it what you have to do is actually to put on your Oculus Go of course and then to let me see if I can uh, I just click on record and then to go over here in sharing and you're gonna see this new option coming that is called cast at that point we have to click on it and we're gonna have this menu start headset casting uh, share button whatever in VR to another Oculus app and we're gonna have to click on cast I'm not gonna click it right now because if you record you're not gonna be able to cast it uh, I had to restart and the device it kind of crashed I couldn't stop the casting anymore even if it was uh, really working so uh, be aware you can't really record and cast at the same time recording off let's start and let's see what's going on on the on the phone okay I just clicked on start and then what I have on my phone is a notification that is over here let me see if I can fix the focus right now okay focus fixed so this is notification what you have to do is simple is just to click on the notification and you're gonna get to let's do like this and you're gonna get to the screen sharing right away so here you have it this is like the screen sharing and as you can see this is the latency that we have is not a lot at least not in the oculus home but when you go in other games in other menu and stuff this change a lot i have to say that i try different games some are not really streaming uh, some are very very slow to stream i want to show you these actually because the streaming is not the best in this situation it's very very laggy and it's kind of not really like a, the ideal way to show a game okay this is Ashen Online and uh, this is the streaming with Ashen Online so I'm moving around this is the cockpit I really suggest this game is super fun and now they put also the um, 
support for the controller, the gamepad, and it's super nice to go around. The graphic is very, very good. But as you can see, it's very, very laggy in this situation, but we can get out. And when we go on the Oculus Home, if it loads the Oculus Home, here we are the second example with Epic Roller Coaster. And as you can see here, the situation is much, much better. Uh, there's no lag, uh, the latency is contained and you're able just to enjoy it and show it uh, with the people while casting. So this is exactly how it should work. You can see the latency right now and that's great because you're gonna be able to like uh, share the experience, tell them people, hey, look on the left, uh, look on the right, uh, look at that. Uh, rock uh, in the bottom left and they're gonna understand that actually uh, you're talking about their rock such an important discussion okay so here we have it here is still streaming what we have to point out actually is that the audio is never gonna get out from the phone there's no way it seems like it's an Android limitation actually so Oculus can't really do much that's what they're saying at least but on the side of the Oculus Go, uh, the thing that is nice at least is we don't really have headphones but we have speakers on the side so you're gonna be able to hear anyway if you're close to the person also because you have to be on the same Wi-Fi connection so of course you're gonna be close by and not on the other part of the world and you're gonna be able to hear the audio directly. I have to say that I don't care much about what's the latency. Uh, as you can see, like there's some latency, but it's nothing major. At the end of the day, you have to show the game and not doing anything competitive with your phone directly. But of course it could be better, but it's not something that I'm really, uh, really looking for and also the FOV is nice because it's very wide instead of being just a square like when you record directly the Oculus Go. I will not record here the video because you have some artifacts and stuff but it's great to share the experience and that's what it's meant for. It's meant to share the experience with the other people on the fly and be able to be part of the game in a way instead of just like record something and show it in a second time or to use the Facebook streaming that was really, really bad as quality. I have to say that I found some games have been problem as you've seen and also some games that weren't sharing the screen at all they were giving error at the beginning like that and buried was happening and some application of course like netflix Sulu, and stuff they weren't really allowing you to share the screen i don't know why you should do it like something like that to so have one in vr and one not but hey if you want to do it well you can't do it so that's the limitation you have so far i have to say that it's great anyway to have this possibility and then they're gonna expand it soon to also chromecast or other way that you can cast directly to maybe to a smart tv and stuff and that will be very very interesting because finally you can use a bigger screen than just a phone but for now having on the phone in this first reiteration, iteration, uh, it's a very very nice addition, I'm very happy about this update so thanks Oculus, great job and I can't wait to see it improving and getting better and better. But for us that's all guys, this was the video, so if you liked the video like, if you didn't like the video dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR in tech in general and let me know like if, are you excited for this are you gonna use it is something that you were waiting for let me know in the comment below and i see you guys in the next video ciao